The Cottonwood County Citizen proudly presents Athlete of the Week. Moda Women's Consignment Boutique carries a wide variety of women's clothing, jewelry, and accessories. It is an impressively modern store with high quality products in a comfortable setting with plenty of space and even offers sofas and chairs where customers can relax if they'd like. The store is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to noon Saturday. Located downstairs at Hammer's Furniture and Flooring on the south side of the square, Moda Women's Consignment Boutique in Wyndham. I'm joined right now by Wyndham Senior Charlie Huska, our Athlete of the Week this week. Congratulations, Charlie. Thank you. Let's go back to Thursday's match against Worthington. And going into that match, Worthington's a type of team that uh, they've been very competitive with some pretty solid teams this year. And they gave you guys a really good tussle. Um, what, what made it so difficult to really kind of put things away against a team like Worthington? Um... We had to, we had a lot of battles. We um, we would have a big lead and then we would lose it. So it was just really like. Just kind of a back and forth. Yeah, night. it was really back and forth. And we just really had to battle through. They're a good team and so were we. So we really had to just push through and we did go to five sets, so. Mm -hmm. um, that that fourth set in particular, you guys got off to a pretty yeah. good lead, and um, and it kind of slipped away. Mm -hmm. um, what was said in the huddle between set four and five? It was just like, well, we well we have set five now, and we need to really fix our errors, fix our mistakes, and battle back, and not get into a big hole like we have in the first four sets we really need to once we have a lead we really need to stick with it and keep going one of your jobs on on this team is you know when we start with the serve you are the first one to serve how important is it you know as the first server of a particular set to try and set the tone and be aggressive and and uh, get your team off to a lead. Yeah, um, the first serve is the first attack basically, and it's really important to not only just get it in and get it over, but to be aggressive so that that your whole team's ready and they're ready. And yeah. And uh, you ended up with five ace serves on on uh, Thursday night, and. Most of them were in pretty key stretches um, where you guys were able to kind of build the lead a little bit. How how much momentum does a team get from an ace serve? It's really a lot of momentum because it's just like one point right there and it's just very important. And yeah. Going into Thursday, did you know how close you were to a thousand career sentences? I had no idea. I was a close to a thousand, so it was very surprising when I got it. Yeah, I was gonna say the look of surprise on your face when yeah. when Coach was waving her hands to to stop the match. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, most everybody kind of had an idea what was going on, except for you. Yeah, I yeah I don't I think my teammates didn't know until that night, and I had no idea until the announcement. So, <laughs> yeah, um, but you know you've you've played varsity now for three plus mm -hmm. full seasons, mm -hmm. and in a six two offense, um, getting a thousand career set assists is a pretty big deal because it's hard to do in a six two. Yeah. Um, tell me about just, you know, what, what it's like for you to work with a different, you know, different hitters over the years mm -hmm. to, to try and, and get to that kind of level. Yeah. And it's all thanks to my hitters to adjust to any set I put up and it's just, um, you know, going through since my freshman year getting different hitters. I mean, I've played with some of them for 
since my freshman year. So I know how to get them the ball and where they want it to make them successful. And that's just kind of how it is. Mm -hmm. But of course, a lot of that has to do with a good pass. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and this season in particular, the, you know, in the last couple of seasons, passing has really improved. Mm -hmm. It's a big, been a big area of emphasis for Coach Fast. And I think that emphasis, you can see it on the court. Mm -hmm. As a setter, what's been your biggest area of growth as a as a player since freshman year to now? My confidence coming into freshman year, I didn't have much confidence. You know, I was kind of scared. And coming into senior year now, I'm confident. I know how to handle things and where my setters want, or where my hitters want the ball, and it's just all. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. You're kind of a quiet person, though. Um, but as a setter, you're, you know, you're kind of the quarterback of the mm -hmm. offense. You know, it, I imagine that it's a little bit out of your nature to mm -hmm. be a vocal sure. person. Sure. Um, how difficult is that for you? It's not that difficult. Um, I think my personality on the court versus normal is completely different. Um, and that's with confidence too, is as I got older um, and now my senior year, I'm a lot louder. I know how kind of taking on a leadership role and it's just a lot different from when I was freshman year. I was kind of quiet, but now I'm more vocal. Another big thing this season is there's, you know, a lot more offensive diversity because, you know, the, the last three years, you know, most teams that you played knew that Tristan Morris mm -hmm. was going to get the ball mm -hmm. as often as possible. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't going to Tristan, it was probably going to Leah Haugie. Mm -hmm. um, this year, you've seen, um, you know, I've seen four or five different girls lead the team in kills this season already. That's got to be pretty exciting mm -hmm. as a setter, knowing that every person on the front line that you set the ball to has the has the ability to put it down. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about just your role in helping that development with your with your hitters. Just mixing up different sets, you know, if one person really has is really on fire that night, you just set the ball to them and um, working on them in practice and just giving others the confidence that they need. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, you know, in a six-two offense, your the other setter isn't isn't necessarily an understudy, mm -hmm. and you know, so you've got Anya working opposite of you, mm -hmm. and I know that the two of you are pretty tight, mm -hmm. and, you know, good friends, and I imagine that makes things a little bit easier for both of you as well. Mm -hmm. um, what's what's that dynamic like knowing that you know when you're coming out of the game one of your good friends is going in and nobody's missing a beat yeah it's great um me and Anya are super close and just i have full confidence in her and her ability to get the ball to where the hitters want and we're like the same so it's just like me going in again looking ahead um, you guys have uh, Marshall on the horizon. You've got Redwood Valley on the horizon. And, of course, uh, at some point here, you're going to see JCC again. Um, but, you know, I imagine that as these conference matches get in, um, it's, it's a chance for you guys to raise the bar a little mm -hmm. bit. Because, you know, after Saturday, winning the Jackson tournament, the bar is pretty high. Mm -hmm. Um how how uh, do you feel about the pressure of trying to continually raise the bar? Um, yeah, I mean, they're all really good teams, and the pressure, it's just we have to play like we know how to play and just not dig ourselves a hole and just, you know, if something doesn't go our way, we just have to keep going forward, not drag ourselves down and just keep going how we know how to play. Probably on Thursday, getting my 1,000 sets. That's probably top. Um, a lot of, like, 2010s old music, I guess. <laughs> right now, for, like, volleyball, I'd say Redwood. They're pretty good. Um, probably Honest. Very Honest. <laughs> um, I like to 
paints and I love organizing, so I do that a lot. <laughs> And of course, you're a senior this year. It's early in the school year, but uh, have you have you started the the college process? Yeah, I've looked at a few, like USD and MSU. So, well, that should be all we need. Uh, congratulations on a milestone week last week. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Moda Women's Consignment Boutique carries a wide variety of women's clothing jewelry, and accessories. It is an impressively modern store with high quality products in a comfortable setting with plenty of space and even offers sofas and chairs where customers can relax if they'd like. The store is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to noon Saturday. Located downstairs at Hammers Furniture and Flooring on the south side of the square, Moda Women's Consignment Boutique in Wyndham.